Maragusan. A mystical place. Surrounded on four sides by mountains, the valley filled by banana plantations. To get there, another majestic valley, the crater lake of an active volcano, and these bamboo gackets. But first we're in Tagum, where Gliza and her husband run this humble pastry shop opposite the high school of a Tagum suburb. Dark chocolate chip cookies are excellent. Very, very good. Very, very good. But this cassava cake is the best seller. Things like this are why I'm fat. And finally, these glorious eclairs. Only the small one for me. That's a proper eclair. That's, that's heavy. It's a workout just to get it in the mouth. Every day I think I'm going to lose weight and then I just find good food like this. This place has been featured locally and for good reason. So, I'm, I'm here in Gleiser's with the owner. Is your name Gleiser by any chance? Yes, Gleiser. Good guess. <laughs> I'm sometimes smart. I have been baking for three years but I just opened this pickup store for six months. I just opened this store last December 2020. How did you learn how to bake? I actually enrolled cake workshops. I searched for recipes in YouTube and I experimented from those recipes. Uh, what, what's your favorite recipe? Of course, my cassava cake. <laughs> this is our best seller. It is very, very good. I recommend it. How can people order from you? They can just send us a message in our Facebook or they can contact us through my number. It is also posted in our Facebook. Thank you so much. Nice to thank meet you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. You think? <laughs> I like I like I like this one. Yeah. I like the cookie. I like the cassava cake. The cassava cake's nice. It's it doesn't taste burnt like seven do. This one tastes if I was worried about getting fat, I know this gate wouldn't let me in if I was. We are being beer cargadors today. <laughs> I'm, I'm delivering a load of beer to where we're staying because that's what you do. Full-time cameraman, part-time cargador. <laughs> The Tagum flyover is nearing completion. The approach is well underway. But we're leaving the main highways and taking a new back road through Mako. Sarawak River Valley is one of many impressive forested gorges in a province previously named Compostela Valley, opening up to the plains of Mawab and beyond. Last time I came through here, I came with my parents in 2018 trying to find the hot spring. And this was all gravel. This was rough road. Now, concrete roads everywhere. New ones everywhere. But a few short sections of rough road remain.
old mining communities dot this valley, known as Masawa. clue that we were in the midst of an active volcano was this sulfuric hot spring, thought to have healing properties. So we continue to climb the side of this volcanic crater. Tambo Cafe sits majestically above Lake Leonard and I was getting hungry. In a world where everyone has the same tourist attractions these days, take a boat on the top of a hill above a lake and pretend you I like this lodging. Bye bye. This is the caldera of Mount Leonard in the Asif, an active volcano that last erupted in 120 AD. Much of the crater is silted up, but a 200 hectare lake remains. Not only is there a road around the crater rim, but there's also a road going down to the lake. So if Tivoli has dogs, Lake Leonard has cats. It's a water slide, but all I can smell is sulfur. It's an active lake, it's an active volcano, crater lake. <laughs> yeah. As I said, that old crew. And he's going for the social. They have social gackets made of PVC coal and That's without beer. <laughs> I mean, the, the gackets I had at my fish pond were like double this width. We're gonna try this and we're gonna laugh. And hopefully the cameras don't fall in. Then our hero came along to save the day. Used to ride these around the fish pond. They never had seats though. I told you shallow. <laughs> I put it deep. It's not a shallow. We're not allowed on the bamboo. We're too heavy. Going on there. We don't want the PVC. It's a shallow jacket. Bye bye. I have too much camera equipment on bamboo. <laughs> too much trust in bamboo. <laughs> now we know <laughs> we were doing it wrong. That was good. That you were too bad.
I'm slightly afraid I might fall over. I'm glad we're not on the bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm not afraid of falling in. I'm afraid of my camera equipment falling in. I'm not afraid of water, I'm just afraid of falling in. Especially on those things. <laughs> Imagine a gacket with katigs. <laughs> the road continues around the crater lake before reaching the boundary of Maragusan. So Commander, we are here at Barangay Palok, uh, part of Maragusan. So this is the vegetable capital of uh, Dabao de Oro. Barangay Palok has two sitios, about a kilometre apart, on the ridge that the road passes. People coming from here uh, supplies the Tagum City Public Market. And their livelihood of these, the, the local locality here is coming from the vegetables which they are harvest, harvesting. <laughs> Is it true that you're a massive plantito? Can I shy a bit? But yes. <laughs> Certified plantito, right here. From Palok, it was onwards to Maragusan until that famous plane came into sight. Reminds me of Butlins in the UK a bit, if anyone has any idea what that is. Maragusan Dava de Oro. We have Sea of Clouds here, the famous Sea of Clouds, and waterfalls as, as well as Hot Spring Resort. Uh, we guarantee you the safety of municipality with the help of our local government unit. 
So, what are you waiting for? Visit Maragusan Davao de Oro. Nindo hey, imong salapi at eh. Pwede ko magkawat? Pwede ko mag- uh, sa, sa gabi eh? Kawat? No, <laughs> pwede definitely. But asking permission, why not? Very much welcome. Yeah. Pingwit lang. Mag pingwit lang to. Pingwit, um, you can do. I remember I tried that once in somewhere else in Maragusan and I failed very, very badly. So, never mind. In part two. Seas of clouds. Cloudy castles. And a newly accessible beautiful valley. A garden of Eden with a rich Mandaya culture. <laughs> <laughs>